Well, hello guys and welcome back to our Mpesa Daraja API tutorial. We're integrating into Laravel and today we are going to do SDK. And uh, before we do that, I'll go to my resources, views. And what I want to do is just create another route here. And I'll call it SDK blade. Then I don't want anything here apart from maybe just one. And here I'll just call it SDK. Perfect, and here we'll also need the phone number. And uh, this probably will be phone. And then I want to go to my route, which is my web route. I'll duplicate this, and then here I want to do SDK. I don't want to return a view like that. So this is supposed to be get. So I'll go to my route and do get, I mean, SDK. There we go. But now I need to change something. I need to have my mix running. So I'll just do npm run watch. And then I'll go to my SDK here. Uh, probably this is supposed to be. better perfect so what we'll do we'll provide the phone number here here we'll provide the amount and here is the account that we can pay on SDK so we'll go back and I'll just change this to simulate SDK so what I'm going I'm not going to show you today is the prompt on my phone this is because um, past few days Mpesa has not been responding uh, it's just giving us errors so I've created my own simple route here I think I'll just make it also available for you so when you're testing it you can be able to do it so this route is able to handle um, access token SDK push and I'll also just update it so in case you want just to test it out using the MPSA portal on the Raja portal you can be using that endpoint and I'll provide it soon so um, here once we have everything here actually we'll just go to our app.js and just like what we had done initially let me just copy this and change a few things here and i'll have my sdk push that we need account and uh, here we have the phone and i'll name this phone here i want to go to sdk push and probably i'll go to go to my api and i'll have my route post what i want is SDK push and as usual I want my MPS controller and what I the method that I'll be referring to will be SDK push probably like that perfect so just copy this let's go to our MPS controller down here let's have a function definitely here we need to have request like that we know that sdk push requires some password and everything yeah so let's go to our daraja and we need the whole of this and uh, we'll paste it here we'll remove these comments so our business shortcode is our sdk shortcode so i'll just have it here cnv start on and then the password will just have it up here we we'll just have placeholders for now we need our timestamp here so we'll have our timestamp and the password will be here here we'll need to have our timestamp for those guys who will be doing this on till number you'll need to change the transaction type to customer buy goods online and uh yeah i think that's okay so here we'll have our request the amount party a is the phone number so we'll just do request phone and uh this is the same as the phone number itself again just copy these and when have the phone number let's have it then party b is the same as the short code but this is just for pay bills for buy goods this is the uh, tail number and the business short code is the store number okay then account reference this is the it's gonna be on the request and the account and again also here we're going to have request probably we just have the same number here account all right so once we have that let's now do this so timestamp we need it uh, a date in the format of day 
uh, month, year, then hour, then minute and seconds. Here we'll need to have our business short code. We concatenate this with the passkey. So it will be again the ENV, it's a deal of the MPS uh, passkey. And then here we'll concatenate this with another timestamp, which is actually what they've indicated here. So if we click here, you'll see that we need to have it business short code, passkey and timestamp. The rest is, ah, okay, this one is wrong. So we need to have our timestamp in form of year, month, day. So we'll make that small change. So this is year, month, day, then hour, minutes, and seconds like that. So as far as I'm concerned, everything here is set except this. So here we need to have our callback, and our callback will be on our API, and we'll have our SDK push here. Then this is going to be our grok URL. So I'll just see if I have it as env. We'll have uh, inside we'll have a pesa test URL. I'm not sure. Let me confirm. So env have a pesa test URL. Perfect. Now this link is already expired, so I'll just fire up another one. So it's on my desktop, so I'll just open it using my commander. And I'll have grok http and the port that I want to expose is 8000. Now I have it, so I'll just copy this one. And I'll have it on my card there, perfect. So now this one is expected to work normally, so it will push, it will send to my push SDK. The next thing I want is the URL, and I've gone an extra mile to just simplify the URL to only the base that I want. Then here we'll have our response after we've made a request to M-Pesa. And the response that we're going to get is through make HTTP. We wrote this method, I think, in lesson number three or two. And we'll need to pass our URL. Then we'll have uh, our body, which is our curl post data like that and then we'll just return response like that then on our api we have the mpesa controller and the method that we are actually looking for is the sdk push so we don't have it so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy this because the just writing on we're just logging it so i'll just call it sdk push like that sdk push perfect so we'll change this again to stk push stk push and point hit perfect and then it will log it i'll go to my log and clear everything and then we'll now run our test so let's go to mpesa first and copy the url for lipana mpesa which is process request i think up to here yeah I've already copied the base URL, so I don't need it. So I'll have it inside there, perfect. So this is SDK push, like that. So let's give it a try. Uh, on my SDK blade, I need to change this one so that it can reflect the same same name as we have here. So copy this, go here and have it like that okay so let me go here reload this i write my phone number and the amount and the account okay so let's try okay it's a problem we will have to comment those for now so that you can avoid the errors There you go. So we have an error there because now we're hitting a different endpoint. So let's go here. Now we have success. 
you go to our network and here you'll see have response uh, request has been received successful and now if you go to our log supposed to have api let's try again this time let's do one sh two shillings send it they have a response so let me go back to this and yeah we have our response here so we have name then we have the receipt number and the balance so please note that this amount if you copy this code from the raja uh, the php code this amount has an error i will be able to see it yeah, if you look at this the amount has just a typo not a big problem okay so let's go back let's clear everything here let's reload this uh, my number let's see it's 20 I mean 100 shillings and let's run stk requests process successful so let me go back to my log and down here you'll see that we have everything now merchant request id check out request id everything here and then we have the amount receipt number balance usually empty i'm not sure why then the transaction date and the phone number yeah basically that's it uh, on mps sdk you are supposed to see the prompt on your phone so because it's down i am using a small library here i've made something so small just to help me because it's it does everything it does on the other end yeah so i hope you have seen it and uh yeah let's meet in the next video thank you very much and bye